What is up my optimistic army? My YouTube account makes the introduction unnecessary, yet I will delight you with one anyway. I'm Christian Miracle. Okay, now you know who I am. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another edition of Miracle's Top 10. I say another edition because the first edition uh, took place during the Hunter Bane storyline uh, on the Life of Miracle channel. And now, I thought maybe it would be best if I would continue here because I've been trying to spike things up. Um, I asked on Twitter a few days ago on what you guys would like to see on this channel, aside from just the Sin videos. Um, uh, the majority of you wanted me to do top 10s, like more top 10s. Uh, my favorite, favorite this, worst. Um, things that are my real life opinions on wrestling or other, me other forms of media and entertainment. And so yeah, I decided to continue with that today with my top 10 favorite WWE Hell in a Cell matches. I'm doing this because Hell in a Cell is coming up this Sunday. Uh, I am going to be at Hell in a Cell in Detroit, Michigan. But you guys already know that. But let's just get, let's just get right into this. Top 10. My top 10 favorite Hell in a Cell matches. Number 10 is Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose at Hell in a Cell 2014. The reason I chose that one is because that match had really great back and forth action between Seth and Dean. They knew each other so well from their times with The Shield. And there was like, there was like so many great moments. I think one of my favorite moments, um, aside from the ending, had to be when Seth and Dean both went off the cell through tables, like as if it was a race, to see who can pull off the better McFoley. <laughs> At least that's the way I would put it. Um, it ends, of course, with Bray Wyatt making his return and um, speaking in what I've, I think was, did they say it was um, backwards audio, in re audio in reverse? From an interview he did, I wouldn't be eh, well. I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out he was actually uh, reciting green eggs and ham. But let's move on forward. Number number nine is the three on two handicap Hell in a Cell match: Degeneration X versus Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, and The Big Show. That match, and our match was in Toronto at Unforgiven 2006. Um, man, that was my first Hell in a Cell match I saw. Uh, it was a really very intense match. Almost everybody except for Big Show was bleeding. Well, I'm, I probably think Big Show's balls were bleeding after all the low blows he took. And of course, it also is most famous for the time DX shoved Vince's head up Big Show's ass. Yep. That, in my opinion, was funny. I found it funny. Less gruesome, but it was really funny. Really funny way to end the match, and it was pretty good overall. Number eight on my list is Triple H versus Chris Jericho at Judgment Day 2002. Now this Hell in a Cell match was, um, I believe, the last time they had uh, referee Tim White um, officiate a contest because he got his ass whooped in that match by both Triple H and Jericho. And then the competitors ended up going outside the cell and even climbed on top of the cell. And it's most famous for being the first Hell in a Cell match that actually ended uh, on top of the cell because even the new, the next referee was like, fuck it, I'm just going to climb it. I'm just going to climb the cell right now. And so he counts a pedigree on the top of the cell. Kind of felt awkward because I'm like, that's the first time ever that a match has ended in the air. Suspended in the air. Wow. Number seven on the list is Triple H vs. Shawn Michaels at Bad Blood 2004. This one, as many well know, is credited as the longest Hell in a Cell match in history at just over 47 minutes long. I mean, sure, like, there was like... A lot of stare downs at the start of it, and a lot of slow motion, not slow motion, but slow paced action at the end. But that was because they went, over, went through over 40 minutes of hell. And they were still able to continue. Quite a number of pedigrees for Triple H to put away Sean. It took him much longer just to get over into the cover. <laughs> That's okay though. It, this, this type of stuff happens in these matches. And I think those two really put on a hell of a show. Number six on my list is from No Mercy 2002, Brock Lesnar vs. The Undertaker for the WWE Championship. Now this Hell in a Cell match, well this is actually the first time. They had two Hell in a Cell matches against each other. One was in 2002, the other was in 2015. Uh, Brock Lesnar had previously broken Undertaker's hand in this match in 2002. There was a, one of my favorite moments had to be when Paul Heyman had strapped the belt around Undertaker's cast, held it up so Brock Lesnar could whack it with a chair so many times. I gotta say, like, 
it was pretty hardcore. Seeing the Undertaker, the way he was bleeding and everything, it was like dripping everywhere, dripped all over, even Brock's arm and even in his mouth a few times. I remember that. I'm like, oh my god, they're blood brothers now. In the end, Brock got the victory, countered the tombstone into the F5. And that's ironically the same way he beat The Undertaker in 2015. And it was the same way he beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. Oh my god, we just had to remind. I just had to remind you guys of that. Oh well, that's why it's number six. Now we're on the top five of my favorite Hell in a Cell matches in history. Number five on my list is Triple H versus Cactus Jack at No Way Out 2000. I did not, I did not see it live because I was three. I did not watch much wrestling as a three-year-old, obviously, because you know, at three years old, that's a little inappropriate, right? Especially in the t especially in the Attitude Era. I got to watch it, I believe, a couple years later. But when I did watch it, I was like, I was amazed at how many. It's like setting a barbed wire on fire while you're on top of the cell. Then Jack got a taste of what happened in 1998 when he got flipped right over, crashed through the cell, and literally crushed the ring a little bit. <laughs> Looked like a freaking bed mattress, something like that. It was funny. It was awesome to see, knowing full well that Cactus Jack is capable of all this shit, and he's able to get back up and continue. Of course, Triple H won the match. I'm not surprised. But it's just like the resilience of Jack. It was just wow. Well, as you can probably see, a majority of the Hell in a Cell matches I've chosen on this top 10 list, like, as of right now, only one of them was anywhere past 2010. And now this one is actually also past sales 10. This was in 2012. My number four on my list, Triple H versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania 28. Now this is a match, while the cell was not used all the time, the story in which the match was portrayed as, when Shawn Michaels is the guest referee, in the so-called end of an era, which is still bullshit advertising. It was really great. That was the night that I actually thought that maybe the streak was going to end, especially the sweet chin music right into the pedigree was one of my moments where I was like, holy shit, this is it, this streak is over, right before we get to the perfect 20-0. and 0. And it wasn't. The match continued. There was, like, so much chaos. Undertaker and Triple H and even Sean got involved in quite a bit of the action, took a Hell's Gate, thrown it into the cell a couple times. Maybe retired, but he can still take quite the hits. Number three on my list is the first ever Hell in a Cell match. At In Your House, Bad Blood, 1997, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker. The first ever Hell in a Cell match was, like, it was beyond what people had expected for this type of match. I mean, this was the first time they had ever heard of the structure. Uh, first time they would ever see that type of match. They didn't expect much. It was just like, they thought maybe it was going to be just like your average cage match. I wouldn't know. I was only a year old, and obviously I was not watching wrestling. I didn't start watching wrestling until 1999. So much back and forth action, so much of this, so much of that, so much blood everywhere you go. But most importantly, that's got to be Kane. It was the debut of Kane that very same night. As he ripped open that cell door, Tombstone the Undertaker cost him the victory. What a perfect way to debut with the first ever Hell in a Cell match. Number two on my list is Mankind vs. The Undertaker at King of the Ring in 1998. This is the most famous Hell in a Cell match that everybody always talks about because it was known as the night that Mankind got thrown off the cell and everybody had thought that maybe he died or he's severely injured or his career's fucking over just like that. I mean, I, there's like so many of the best matches I never got to see live. I just wish I could go back in time, watch it live and just like be amazed. I still am amazed when I watch that because of the way he was able to get up after getting tossed off that cell. And then he came back, he got choke slammed through the cell, continued the match, took a hell of a beating, put himself through thumbtacks not once but twice, still kept going, and even though The Undertaker got the victory, I think we all gained more respect for mankind and what he was able to take, what type of punishment he can take in the ring. And that's why... It's shock um, yeah, it's shockingly not number one on my list because while it was the most famous Hell in a Cell match, it wasn't my all-time favorite Hell in a Cell match. Besides, the wild one's coming up in a little bit, but I still look back on that match. I still look back and I was like, God dang, how the hell does this guy do that? And finally, number one, my number one all-time favorite Hell in a Cell match was at Armageddon 2000, the 
first ever, as right now the only six man Hell in a Cell match. Kurt Angle versus Rikishi versus Triple H versus Undertaker versus The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. For the WWF Championship, what in my opinion was the one of the most perfect cell matches I've ever watched. I mean, there's a lot of different opinions. And there's probably a lot of comments going on you, my YouTube video right now saying, why didn't you choose this one for your favorite match? Why didn't you choose this one? What about this one? This one was a lot better. From your perspective, if that's the way you see it, then that's the way you see it. But this is my all-time favorite on so match. I, I know a lot of people respect my opinion. I know everybody, a lot of people, understand. But of course, like everybody has different opinions. That's okay. But the reason why this was, this was my all-time favorite cell match was not just because of the star power that was in that match, but because of the, the way those guys actually competed inside that match. And even outside that, even outside the cell, even outside the cell, uh, getting the cars on the stage involved, going through glass, having Vince McMahon come out saying, oh, we're going to rip the cage apart, we're taking this cage down, trying to rip it apart, ends up getting, it, getting thrown out of the arena instead which was funny as hell. Uh, Rikishi getting thrown off the cell right into a bunch of, what was it, wood chips? Looks like a bunch of wood chips, something like that. Uh, the Undertaker, by the end of the match, Kurt Angle won and retained his championship. He was lying on the ground. He pinned the rock. Stone Cold was also down. Triple H was down over here. Rikishi was down in, the tr in that truck of wood chips, and The Undertaker was down up above on the cell. Everybody was everywhere by the time the match was over, and that's, to me, like, a perfect example of why the Hell in the Cell match had so much freaking carnage back in the day. I mean, sure, it has a little bit of carnage here and there in the present day, but it's just, it's not as good as the Cell matches of the past. I mean, we can try to do good, we can try to do better, but you just need that one spark in order to make it better. Well, I, just, I still don't know what that spark is. But ladies and gentlemen, this was indeed my top 10 favorite Hell in a Cell matches. Um, leave in the comments what you think of my top 10 series. I hope you actually enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be doing more of these top 10s in the future if the series actually picks up. If people actually want to see me do more of these. And if you want to see me do more of these, leave down in the comments what top 10s you want to see of my opinions. It's a great way to get to know me better. So, don't forget to be optimistic, show your optimism, think optimistically. And of course, conquer cancer. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's why I'm wearing the pink. All right, I'm Christian Miracle, voice of Cinema Sense 2 Expansion, leader of the Optimistic Army, host of the Miracle Sam Podcast, and just honestly, just, just a guy. I'm just a guy. I'm just a wrestling fan. That's just who I am. All right, you guys are the Optimistic Army, the best fans in the world. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers, everyone. We can do it. We're at 81K. We can do it.